It was great having our eldest son Lloyd with me on this trip. African born and bred, he knows the ropes and the roads. His unique headgear keeps him cool. And I have to say that before the trip was over, I was wearing the same thing myself. The rather old Toyota Land Cruiser we are using needs a good check and the interior needs some adjusting to accommodate the load. Boxes of much needed literature and a supply of used manual typewriters will certainly bless the places we visit. We will need all the fuel we can carry. Not many service centers on the way. Well loaded and kitted up, we head out next morning, making an early start at 6 o'clock. It takes about four days hard travel from Lubumbashi to Kipusha. The journey starts well with about a hundred miles of hard surface road and then it's bush all the way. In the dry season, we can camp out. Okay, we're up in the hills between Lubudi and Luena. We left Lubumbashi yesterday morning at 10 past 6 and we've come 370 kilometers to this point. We slept out last night in a little grove of trees on the road. And here we are, it's early in the morning. It's, uh, well, it's 10 past, uh, five past seven. And we're on our way, of course, up to Kipusha. Um, we'll probably arrive there, we hope, or at least Kasendo on the way to Kipusha, maybe the day after tomorrow, with God's help. Here we are on the road, lovely morning, cool of the morning, with God's blessing upon us. And a good cup of coffee, Nescafe. And now we tackle the dreaded Bukama Hill. Rocks for about half a mile straight up. We have to top up with fuel on the way. Dust and grit spells disaster to the engine, so we take care to keep the fuel clean. After our third overnight camp out, we hit the road again very early in the morning. Passing through villages in the dawn, the road gets better as we cross from the Katanga to the Kasai province. This bridge over the Lubangule River hasn't yet recovered from the Civil War. But after an initial setback, we do get across.
we arrive at Kasendu where the celebration has begun in the almost completed new church building. Churches like this are being built now in many of the larger villages church centers. We soon become part of the celebration, the praying, the singing and the preaching. Then it's on to Kipusha, our main destination. And again we are immediately launched into celebration mode. More preaching, more singing and rejoicing together. Part of our visit is to encourage the teachers and school staff at the church school, this major church and evangelistic center. During the Civil War, most of the buildings were looted, damaged, but they are being repaired and the work is slowly recovering as the folks are able to give their time and by the grace of God as we're able to help them in any way that we can. Nami Pastor Philippe Ntambwe Sampu, superviseur Ami Fuboya, éducation chrétienne et alphabétisation. Il est qui tout coup tout coup, mais tout quoi chez nous, mon dawaku Fuboya, Ami Fuboya, alphabétisation, mon dawanka, mon atulas, na bingi bifi ndi bioso, on a rola, on a fiki qui tout quoi ça, on a vite un gouvernement qui nous tout l'emboule, ma pièce de rechange, on a vite un gouvernement carburant, que quoi on a n'a qu'au Muku visite ma klas Mufubu wande Kote ku talama Ekol jujumon she mu 37 stasyon 37 stasyon mui Ma ekol jujumon she 335 Na aba moniter Na mu 335 Ba anabe 8000 plis Mwamu ma ekol jujumon Na talana ma koral Ma koral e epepi E 2000 mwenye mu komunote mwanda kifuilo kioso kikorale mwanda sunga itane sunga isamu bakoriste mba kile bunji mwa alfabetizasyon ni natu lasa makumi ananka natu nanka bantu kama isamu On a rather windy day away from the crowds we decide on the distribution of funds that we carry from the generous folks back home Every department gets a share the church, the school, the hospital and of course the very needy individuals that we meet Church secretary is delighted to get a new typewriter to replace the one that was looted. During our time at Kipusha, Lloyd gives a seminar in reforestation. <laughs>
done 100 kilometers just over since half past five this morning it's 10 past nine not bad we make the 700 mile journey back to Lubumbashi another four days we stop at villages on the way and talk to the folks we're never short of a crowd mainly children we choose a, a quiet place for our last night's camp And it's the last lap, tired but blessed. Praising God for his goodness and the encouragement and help that we have been able to bring to the Pentecostal Church at uh, Kasendu, at Kipusia, and at Lulungu. <laughs>